is Eden with Helix VR. Today I'll be reviewing Remnith by Chronish Games. Being a VR channel, I'll be looking at that side of it, but it can be played on the HTC Vive, the Oculus Rift, or as a standard PC game. This is a pre-release review. The game should be out over the next few days, but it's still in the final phases of testing. Remnith is a first-person shooter, but it's not your standard one. The focus is on accuracy. If you miss your enemies and shoot the environment, crystals grow which can make your enemies stronger. You are armed with giant cannons, which you gain upgrades for as you progress. You have to defeat the enemies that you come across while avoiding damage. Health refills are very limited. There are over 25 battles over 3 levels. This doesn't sound like much, but battles can take more time than you'd imagine. It's also that the game itself is quite difficult in VR, even on the standard difficulty settings, so you'll likely be retrying and can later challenge yourself to complete more difficult modes. In this video I'm teleporting about, but trackpad motion is also supported. There's no delay on the teleport, but you can set one. I find it useful to quickly dash around the level to avoid shots and take cover. The teleport looks a bit odd sometimes when watching the video, but it feels fine in game. You can play seated or standing, but I'd recommend standing as you can physically turn to shoes. Graphically, the game is brilliant. It looks good in the video, but it doesn't quite capture just how good it looks in VR. I did have to turn down the settings while recording, but it ran fine on high when only the game was running. I was quite impressed by the background music and the sound effects too. Another positive is that the game has quite a few options, multiple save profiles too. I always like to see that in a game. There were a couple of negative points, but keep in mind that this is based on a pre-release version. The cannons occasionally got in the way of my sight. This may be adjusted by playing with the height offset and the developer is aware of the issue. I also had a couple of times in the first level where I got a bit lost. Some of the areas in the first level look very similar to each other. To wrap up the review, I definitely enjoyed Remnith. It is quite difficult, so make sure that you're up for that if you decide to buy it. I really like the concept of having to be accurate or making it more difficult for yourself. If this appeals to you, I'd recommend it. Once again, this was Eden from Helix VR. If you enjoyed, please remember to like and subscribe.